I guess I am perplexed, a bit perturbed, confused. What? What's? What's the big deal? No, seriously. What's the big deal? Set my people free. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome. Ah, so happy to have you. As you know guys on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable please know that this is for educational purposes as well as informational purposes today we are going to look at the Louis Vuitton canvas pieces essentially why does Mr. Bonnat Ah, no, B-A. Why does LV canvas has my people in a chokehold? I need to set my people free. The LV canvas seems to really resonate with my people. And this is not to say that other people do not love it. Oh, yes, they do. I see it. It's it's one of the most loved bags. It's part of the top tier. It baffles me. I don't understand. You see, everyone goes crazy about the Eva clutch, the never fall, the poche metis, the poche bandolier. I don't get it. I even see it in my everyday and it's 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 not impressive. It in fact if I didn't know the print I wouldn't even like look at it. Yeah. Because it's it's for me it's not eye catching, but everyone just raves about it. What is it? It's canvas. I got this to really, really see what's the difference between the genuine piece and this fake one. This is really thick canvas and I got it in really great shape. It's, it's really a beautiful piece. It's one of the most attractive pieces besides the Ava clutch that I really, really liked from LV but I don't like canvas I hate canvas but this is vintage I am not a person who would ever advocate for the production of new canvas never ever it's not something that stays forever and while they would rave about it it does start to deteriorate. It goes. I don't care how long it has been around. It goes. It starts cracking and it's annoying. So, oh, it's the print? Is it the print? Yes, this is actually the print I like. And I believe this is the print that the son put into production. I think the dad or the granddad or the great great granddad because this is intergenerational wealth kind of situationship going on and it's also one of the reasons why I don't understand I don't understand why it has my people in a chokehold why why it has them in a chokehold why it's intergenerational wealth that you're contributing to and I am not an advocate of intergenerational wealth when it's being acquired at the expense of those below 
And based on recent news, we know that that is still an issue today. There are so many people that are still being unfairly treated. And that is a very mild phrase, unfairly treated. They are treated like to make these. Seriously, your love for a particular bag, canvas, at what cost? No, it's like this feels as much the same like this because it's canvas and it's real good quality canvas. I've had this wallet. In fact, this is a wallet that was passed on to me from my friend in New York. She gave it to me and it's disintegrated now, but the canvas is still sturdy. It's just the inside that is falling apart. But the canvas itself, it's still in really great shape. It feels the same, which begs the question, is it the same batch? And yes, this is very much, it's very much authentic. Yeah. These are, this is the code. So, I don't understand. While I could understand all the hype, possibly around the epi leather, I find the epi leather to be gorgeous. And if you're not going for feel, which is essential when it has really nice leather, because the epi leather is really hard. It's sturdy. It's designed to be that way. But for me, I like anything leather and the sturdier, the better. So I love the epi leather. It's one of the reasons why I invested in the LV St. Cloud because it's a gorgeous bag and this clutch. This is a bag that I've been getting so much wear out of it. It's just absolutely stunning and it just it just elevates an outfit. As I said, while the canvas one is the preference for many, I absolutely love this one because it's leather. It's something I could relate to. And it's vintage. It's not newly produced. It's really difficult for me to even consider handing money to BA. Yeah, he allegedly has some questionable business ethics. Yeah. Yeah. You need to read up about him before you start buying newly produced items made from LV because I honestly don't see the point and I just think that he should let my people go. That's all I know. I hope that this video enlightens you. I hope that you have learned something. If you don't like it, of course, thumbs it down it's okay it gives me a sense of what you like or what you don't like and if you love it of course like it and subscribe because if you don't subscribe you may lose my YouTube name and my YouTube channel and you'll never be able to find me again trust me it has happened to me so please do that I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. When it comes to quality, the bags these days, they do not have the quality that one expects from luxury that's supposed to be really exclusive to the elites. Are the elites taste deteriorating? Are they no longer concerned about their money 
maybe they have too much disposable income. I hope that maybe if some rich person out there, can you hear me? I need some. I have debts. Yeah. I don't mind if you send me some. Yeah. Seriously. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough, 